Ponds and creeks are starting to freeze, freeze over or refreeze, and officials in the metro are warning kids and their parents to be alert and never go out on the ice alone. Yeah, 41 Action News reporter Sarah Plake has the information you need to know about staying safe and joins us live from Clay County. Good morning. Oh, well, good morning. Um, you can see uh, ponds like these frozen over in rural communities, subdivisions, and even here in the city. And, you know, but just by looking at it, it might seem kind of thick. You know, what could go wrong, right? But officials are telling me that there's never a way to actually tell how safe the ice is just by looking at it. So one wrong step could mean bad news. It's just unreliable. It could be two feet in one spot, two inches in another. And the Department of Missouri Department of Conservation says that at least four inches can support a person. But there are also a lot of different factors that go into determining how strong the ice is, you know, thickness, temperature, how big the pond is, and even fish swimming below the surface can push that warmer air to the top. So the best way to stay safe, keep yourself your kids and your pets off of the ice, but what happens if the worst action, the worst case scenario does come along and you see a loved one fall through the ice? Officials tell me don't go in after them, even if it's your child. That's a difficult question because as a as a parent, you want to you know do what you need to do for your child, but you know you do you do no good for anybody else if you put yourself in danger too. You know potentially there could be two fatalities. And remember, you know, uh, ice is never 100% safe. And if we can look out on this, if you see here this pond, uh, this it's kind of white, kind of the bubbles below the surface. Officials are telling me that this kind of ice is less thick than clear ice. So that's something you need to remember. I'm live in Kansas City, Sarah Plake, 41 Action News.